Good afternoon. I'm Will Sherewis. I'm a student at Ransom Everglades and I live on Miami Beach. On the world's present course, my school and my home could be uninhabitable due to sea level rise by the year 2070. In those incredibly serious words, there is a sense of peril that has prevailed across the globe. But the good news is that our generation is standing up. We've joined the climate conversation in a big way. This Miami Youth Climate Summit is just one example. Across the planet, more than 7 million youth have taken to the streets to stop climate change. And when the pandemic hit, lockdowns didn't slow us down. We switched to the digital platform we're more comfortable with anyway, and kept our voices loud. We're young. Some of us are just approaching our teens. And while we've made our voices heard, we're still fighting for a seat at the decision-making table. In 2019, right before the pandemic hit, I was lucky enough to attend the United Nations World Climate Conference in Madrid, Spain. I am a reluctant speaker, but the issue requires every voice, so I lent mine. The numbers were harrowing. The World Conference was supposed to be about how far countries have progressed on reaching the carbon cutting agreed five years ago in Paris. Instead, it turns out, the world is way behind. But the message of hope is this. If we act now, it's not too late to change the world's course. The solutions already exist to get us there. The world leaders are meeting again this November in Glasgow, Scotland and more than 110 countries have already signed on to become carbon neutral by the year 2050, including the United States. It is important work, and we, the youth here today, can make the difference. It is, after all, our future, our planet. I want to share with you one project I'm working on. The climate clock counts down the amount of carbon emissions we have left before the changes to our planet are irreversible but the climate clock also measures the increase in time we get each time we switch to renewable energy. And there are a hundred ways to do just that. If we put into place the actions we need in the next seven years, we can reach carbon neutrality by 2050 and stop the clock. We can choose a better future. The most important issue of our time hangs in the balance. Our generation has a can't stop, won't stop mentality that is powerful in its own right. But with all the power of youth comes a responsibility. Admittedly, as we come of age, it is not just our time to speak, but our time to act. We have done the necessary work to raise awareness of the problems that plague our world. Now it is time for the problems to be solved, not just by our leaders, but by us. We must start now, this year, to put an end to the use of fossil fuels. It's a tall order, and as youth, Let's not let it phase us. Let's not let it set us back on our heels. We are activists, but we are also optimists. It is our future, and we intend to save the planet. But we need the help of our elders now in order to move us there. Today, the young leaders of the Miami Youth Climate Summit welcome Mayor Kava to share her ideas on how we can get there.